Richard Boone was an American actor, best known for his starring roles in westerns, including his iconic portrayal of a man called Paladin in CBS's Have Gun, Will Travel. The series aired both on radio and TV from 1957 to 63. Not only did Boone star in the series, but he also directed many of its episodes and served as narrator. Throughout his career, he starred in over 50 films, but by the 1970s, he was in the twilight years of his time in the spotlight. Boone eventually passed away in 1981 at age 63. In the years that preceded his passing, he lived with strong resentment and deep animosity over how his career played out, especially in its latter years. Join Facts First as we present Why Richard Boone Died with a Strong Hate in His Heart. He never thought Hollywood was on the artist's side. In 1960, Richard Boone told the Hanford Sentinel that, in his opinion, most television was a waste of time. He said the people connected with TV realized how bad programming had gotten but didn't seem to care. Instead, they would make their shows as cynically as possible. Boone told the outlet that the producers of his day were turning out programs literally making him sick and that every year it seemed as if television was reinfecting itself, using the same approach to shows while making them worse each season. Boone wrapped up his scathing critique by stating his belief that unless television changed its attitude, people would walk away from it just as they had with motion pictures in the late 50s. Boone's negative sentiments regarding the industry might come as a shock to some, especially considering how he was such an integral part of a show considered to be a success both on a critical and commercial level. By all accounts, Boone was very proud of what he was able to accomplish with Have Gun, Will Travel. Still, the show seemed to perfectly embody the driving force behind the actor, whose relentless push for quality was something that proved to be a near-constant motivation throughout his life. His Shifting Priorities Richard Allen Boone was born in Los Angeles on June 18, 1917. He initially had aspirations of becoming a painter. In fact, he attended the LA Art Students League, Stanford University, and the Chouinard Art Institute in California with dreams of becoming a world-famous artist. One of the primary reasons why he chose to leave Stanford was addressed in a 1951 article published in the North Hollywood paper The Valley Times. Apparently, Boone and some of his frat brothers acquired a lifelike dummy with the intention of playing a practical joke. They called up a friend in another frat house and asked him to drive over immediately as something important had come up. They tucked the dummy away in the shrubs that bordered the street a block from their house. When they saw what they assumed was their friend's car approaching, they pushed the dummy into the street. To their surprise, the driver of the car that was the same make and model of their friends actually belonged to Mrs. Herbert Hoover. When her car careened into the dummy, she leapt out of the vehicle in a panic, terrified, thinking she had just killed an innocent pedestrian. In the commotion, Mrs. Hoover slipped and sprained her ankle. The university conducted an investigation and decided the jokesters were, quote, wasting their flair for showmanship as Stanford students. After essentially getting ousted, Boone moved into an artist colony, but things changed abruptly when the U.S. entered World War II. From there, Boone joined the Navy and spent the following four years serving as a gunner in the South Pacific. Since military life wasn't conducive for his painting, he instead took to writing. Throughout his time serving his country, he wrote a series of short stories imitating those of Dos Passos and Hemingway, although he quickly realized his dialogue wasn't all that great. So after the war ended, he joined the neighborhood playhouse in New York, taking full advantage of the GI Bill with the hopes of seeing how professional actors handled dialogue. After discovering he had some natural talent for acting, however, he shifted gears once again to pursue it full-time. While learning the ropes at the neighborhood playhouse, Boone studied under Martha Graham and Sanford Meisner. Later on in the 70s, Boone returned to the playhouse to serve as director and teacher. In 1948, Boone made his Broadway debut in Medea, working alongside John Gielgud and Judith Anderson. The production ran for 214 performances, and the following year he appeared in Macbeth. In 1950, Boone made his film debut as a Marine officer in Halls of Montezuma. He went on to appear in several other 20th Century Fox military films, such as Call Me Mister, The Desert Fox, The Story of Rommel, Return of the Texan, and Way of Gaucho, all of which saw releases between 1951 and 52. For the next several years, Boone was cast in a variety of different roles, including that of Pontius Pilate in The Robe and Crofta in Man on a Tightrope. 
While filming Halls of Montezuma, Boone befriended Jack Webb, who subsequently cast him in the film version of Dragnet. Webb was very impressed with Boone's delivery in this film, so he ended up casting him in the lead role in his 1954 medical drama Medic. For that role, Boone received a nomination for Best Actor starring in a regular series in the 1955 Emmys. The show ran for two seasons, and Boone continued to appear in films such as The Tall T in 1957. In that same year, he was given what would prove to be the most significant role of his career, when he was offered the lead part of Paladin in Have Gun, Will Travel. That series ran from 1957 to 63, and Boone received two more Emmy nods for his work. Throughout the show's run, Boone continued to act in other films and TV shows, including The United States Steel Hour and Playhouse 90. After Have Gun, Will Travel ended, Boone was given his own anthology series titled The Richard Boone Show. It aired from 1963 to 64, and he got his fourth Emmy nomination for it. After it wrapped, Boone and his family moved to Hawaii. He did occasionally return to Hollywood to appear in movies such as The Warlord and Ombre, but he never quite achieved the same level of success as he'd found with Have Gun, Will Travel. Boone continued to act until the late 70s, appearing in films like 1971's Big Jake and 1972's Good Night, My Love, the latter of which was a TV movie. His final appearance was in 1979's The Bushido Blade. Two years later, in 1981, he died at his home in St. Augustine, Florida due to complications from throat cancer. His final years were consumed with resentment. When the Richard Boone show premiered to shockingly low ratings, Richard Boone was deeply disappointed. He almost felt betrayed by NBC when they pulled the plug on the program. The network reportedly didn't even have the courage or common courtesy to tell them the show was canceled in person. Instead, he learned of the cancellation only by reading the news in The Hollywood Trades. After discovering his series had been given the axe, Boone told reporters the network had done so in the most, quote, chicken, gutless way possible. Although he kept his acting career alive for the next decade or so, he never really recovered both professionally or emotionally, and even years later he was still telling reporters how angry he was with NBC's actions. Apparently Boone was so upset that his decision to move away from Hollywood was directly tied to his feelings on this matter. Those close to him recall he remained heartbroken and resentful right up until the end. To cope with his feelings of bitter animosity, as well as to deal with his old battle scars from the war, Boone took to heavy drinking in his later years. He also frequently cheated on his wife, Claire McCallan. Claire, no doubt, was hurt by his escapades, but she realized a man in his position was frequently presented with temptations. As such, she remained faithfully by his side until his death. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think NBC gave Richard Boone a raw deal by canceling The Richard Boone Show? Let us know in the comments section below.